読む書く聞く話す Do you know how to read those four kanji yet? Well, if you're going to take the JLPT, it's time to memorize them. Today, we're going to be covering all 100 of the JLPT N5 kanji so that you can pass the test. So, yosh, benkyo shimashou! If you don't know, JLPT stands for Japanese Language Proficiency Test. The JLPT is one of the most well-known and acknowledged tests around the world for proficiency in Japanese. A lot of jobs in Japan require you to have some level of proficiency to work in Japan. So if that's a goal of yours, it's a really good idea to start studying for the test. But even if that's not your goal, the test can still be a really good way to test your current knowledge of Japanese. The JLPT has five levels and one is the hardest, which is near fluent, and in five is the easiest, covering basic everyday Japanese. To pass the test, you need to know about 800 vocabulary, 50 grammar patterns, and 100 kanji. I highly recommend that you check out Remembering the Kanji, Genki 1, and JTest for You as study resources for the JLPT. I've linked those in the description box below so that you can check them out and get more resources to study for the rest of the test besides just the kanji. And also these kanji that are on the test are some of the most common. So you'll see them all the time if you're doing a lot of reading practice, if you're studying vocabulary. In fact, one of the best ways to memorize the kanji for this test is to study vocabulary on the test that use the kanji that you need to study as well. So that way you're killing two birds with one stone, right? And it'll help you memorize the reading that goes with that kanji because you've learned the vocabulary word that goes with it. So you've learned how to read it. Oftentimes on the test, you'll see the kanji with the vocabulary word that you need to know anyway. So this is a really effective way of studying for the JLPT N5. And even though the test changes year by year, these 100 kanji are pretty consistently the most common kanji and the ones that you'll see on the test, at least for the N5 level. Some of the more advanced levels do change out some kanji here and there, especially because you do need to know a lot more kanji for those levels, but the N5 is pretty consistent. So use this video as a resource to study. For instance, if you're just starting to study for the JLPT N5, use this to kind of warm you up, give you an idea of what you need to know for the test. And then when you get closer to taking the test, use it as a resource to fly through the kanji really fast and review them, review them daily. Watch this video every day leading up to the test because when we get to these categories of kanji, we're gonna fly through them so that way you can just see them quickly with the reading and memorize them. So I've broken up the kanji into categories that are similar to each other. That way you can kind of memorize the kanji as groups that can make it a lot easier to remember. For instance, learning all of the numbers that you need to know at once versus learning a number here and an adjective there. So we're gonna be focusing on numbers, time, people and things, places, and adjectives and verbs. Another thing you need to know before we get to the kanji is that there are two different types of readings. There's the kunyomi and the onyomi readings. That's the Japanese version of reading the kanji and the Chinese version. And depending on the kanji, there can be even more than one reading for both. So some kanji will have 10 readings while others will only have one. But don't get intimidated because on the test, you'll only be expected to know maybe one or two readings that are the most common. Again, that's why you wanna pair them with vocab that are gonna be on the test. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you the most common readings for each kanji, but make sure to check out the rest of the article, including the charts, where I've given you all of the readings for the kanji plus some example words to go with it. All right, let's get started. Japanese kanji for numbers. One, ichi, hitotsu. Two, ni, futatsu. Three, san, mitsu. Four, shi, Yong. Five. Go. Itsu. Six. Roku. Mutsu. Seven. Shichi. Nana. Eight. Hachi. Yatsu. Nine. Kyu. Kokonotsu. Ten. Ju. To. Hundred. Hyaku. Thousand. Sen. Chi. Ten thousand. Man. Ban. Yen, circle, and round. In, marui. Japanese kanji for time. 
These kanji could be in other categories besides time because many of them have multiple readings, but I've grouped them here because the most common words that you'll see them for on the test are four words that are associated with time. That could be months of the year, hours on the clock, things like that. Day, sun. Nichi, heat. Week, shu. Month, moon. Getsu, tsuki. Year, nin, Toshi, time, hour, ji, toki, time frame, span of time, kan, aida, minute, part, to understand and to divide, bun, wakaru, noon, go, before, zen, mai, after, later, behind, go, ato, now, Kon, ima. Before, ahead, future. Sen, saki. To come. Rai, kuru. Half, middle. Han, nakaba. Every, each. Mai. What, which, how many. Ka, nani. Japanese kanji for people and things. I've included the kanji readings that you need to know the most, however, just be aware of that there are some irregulars that are still really common. For instance, the kanji for mother and father are most often read as okasan and otosan, but in the test and in the chart, they may say that their readings are ha and chi. Person, jin, hito. Man, boy. Dan, otoko. Woman, girl. Jo, Una, child, she, ko, mother, bo, haha, father, fu, chichi, friend, yu, tomo, fire, ka, he, water, sui, mizu, tree or wood, moku, ki, earth, ground, do, tsuchi, Money, gold. King, kane. Book, source. Hon, moto. River, sen, kawa. Flower, ka, hana. Spirit, ki, ke. Life, to live. Sei, ikiru. Fish, gyo, sakana. Heaven, ten, ame. Sky, empty. Ku, sora. Mountain. Sun, yama. Rain. U, ame. Electricity. Den. Car, vehicle. Sha, kuruma. Language, word, to chat. Go, kakadu. Ear. Ji, mimi. Hand. Shu, te, foot, to add, soku, ashi, eye, moku, me, mouth, ko, ku, kuchi, name, me, na. Japanese kanji for places and directions. For this category, it's a good idea to memorize both the kunyomi and the onyomi readings. That's because both are equally as common. For instance, the kanji for outside, it's equally read as soto as it is gai. So make sure that you are aware of both of these readings because you'll see both a lot and you may see both on the test. Shop, ten, mise, station, eki, street, path, way, do, michi, shrine, society, sha, yashiro, country, Koku, kuni. Outside, gai, soto. School, learning, gaku, manabu. School, kou. Up, above. Sho, ue. Down, below. Ka, sta. Middle, center, inner, between. Chu, naka. North, hoku. Kita, west, 
Sai, Nishi. East, To, Higashi. South, Nan, Minami. Right, Yu, Migi. Left, Sa, Hidari. Japanese kanji for verbs. These kanji are for very common verbs, so they're easy to pick up, easy to memorize, and most verbs do use kanji with the exception of sudo, which is just written in kana, which by the way, make sure that you've mastered your kana if you're going to study for the test. That's a must, and if you don't know your kana yet, make sure to click this article and we'll link to it. One thing that makes reading kanji for verbs easier is that they almost always use the kunyomi readings. So for this test, you really only need to know the kunyomi readings of these kanji, and you don't even have to worry about the onyomi readings. I'm gonna give them to you anyway, but that's just a little pro tip. To see, to be visible, to show. Ken, miru. To hear, to listen, to ask. Mon, kiku. To write. Sho, kaku. To read. Doku, yomu. To talk. Conversation. Wa, hanasu. To buy, buy, kau. To go, to carry out. Ko, iku. To go out, to leave. Shutsu, deru. To enter, to put in. Nyu, hairu. To rest, to break, holiday or vacation. Kyu, yasumu. To eat, food. Shoku, taberu. To drink, in, nomu. To talk, gen, iu. To stand, ritsu, tatsu. To meet, society, kai, au. Japanese kanji for adjectives. And lastly, we're going to cover a few adjectives that you need to know for the test. Again, the kunyomi readings for these are most important, so make sure to memorize those. A lot, many, ta, oi. A little, few. Sho, skoshi. Old, ko, furui. New, shin, atarashi. Big, a lot. Dai, oki. Little, small. Sho, chisai. Cheap, safety, peace. An, yasui. High, expensive. Ko, takai. Long, Leader, cho nagai. White, haku shiro. And there you have it, guys. That's all 100 kanji you need to know to pass the JLPT N5. I'm so proud of you guys for getting through this video. I know it's a lot. Don't worry, I know you've got this. Just make sure that you study, review, rewatch the video. Again, like I said, as the test comes up and you've already studied the kanji and made mnemonics for it, use this video as a resource to quickly fly through those kanji and hear them all with the English and the readings over and over again to prepare you for the test. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up with the latest Japanese language learning content. I know you guys can do this. Study hard. Gambatene. Janne. Matane minasan.